It's crazy. We all love to spend money, but we are too lazy to manage finances. So I believe managing finance should be easy, social, and fun. Good afternoon. My name is Danny, and I'm the CEO of Bugently. And we are not creating an app with an overview of what you have spent on whatever. We have no pie charts, no financial buzzwords, and we even don't sell financial products. But Gently is a personal finance assistant to challenge you to make the most out of money. And let me tell you what is more important than ever for the younger generation to do exactly that thing. We grew up during the rise of the internet. And before the financial crisis, there was a time where everything seemed possible. And now we know it's not. The level of trust is so low, one out of two millennials have no one they trust for financial guidance. Big social issues has redefined their definition of financial success by paying down debt and saving money. But at the same time, they want experience more than anything else. And expensive coffees, of course, more city trips, rooftop parties. What I'm trying to say is there's a disconnect between the aspired lifestyle and purchasing power. Because the real problem is millennials don't have enough money. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so we want it all. But we have less money than previous generations, but more needs. And I call this the millennial paradox. So we want to help with Begently to, to spend less on meaningless stuff and create more valuable experiences. Because I realized life is too short to miss out, but creating debt is not a solution. But managing money is hard and takes effort and discipline. And like most of us, I was trying using Excel and other apps. But these apps only told me what I shouldn't spend the day after. So I decided to do it by myself and launched an app in the App Store, which had the top charts for months. And with this small success and new insights about PSD2, I started to build a new team. And this is the perfect timing to get in this business. We're moving forward to an open API economy, and I'm tapping in this huge opportunity with a strong team. I'm, 20 I'm 22 years old, a marketing commerce background, and the one who puts this team together. Co-founder Michiel has more than 10 years' experience in the financial industry, experience as a lawyer, bankruptcy trustee, and as a banking supervisor. And our CTO, Misha, is a serial entrepreneur and has more than 25 years' experience in the gaming space. He started as a hacker, so he knows how to design, build, and secure a scalable infrastructure in cloud and big data systems. Chris, our user interaction designer, and Bastian, a serial entrepreneur with 20 years experience in online business. So on average, people check their bank balance four times per day. Four times. It's not that interactive and challenging. And besides that, the amount of money in a bank says nothing. We should care about how much money we can safely spend. It's the headline of our financial story. And a lot of youngsters are struggling with managing their finances. And that's why we divided our business into four different stages. So let's take a look how it works. First, you connect your personal bank account to Begently. No need to switch from bank, it's too much hassle. And after you connect that, you have one single place for all your planned costs. And by knowing this, we can make real-time calculations to show you how much money you can safely spend each day, week, or month. And we discovered one burning issue when people open up their bank, bank information. They feel a lack of privacy when they open up their app. And that's why we created a private mode to view your budget. And this is just one example for how we tap into people's real lives. Because by sending notifications to our users, we will, we will provide them with feedback and rewards based on their financial behavior. And when they improve their behavior, they will go level up. No more pain, more financial gain. And level two is all about savings. And savings are like celebrations. It's not a punishment. We actually work quite hard to reward ourselves. So 
Let's treat it like that. Our analytics system calculates how much you can afford to spend to save, I'm sorry, <laughs> without having a big impact on your day-to-day -day life. We make dynamic changes on your save to spend budget, so you're saving without worrying about it. And our backend system is based on a proven scalable cloud system. All our layers are independent, and we can simply add more power where needed. Our API is tested in privileged projects, and it can handle more than, more than 2 million hits per sec. And a sponsorship of Microsoft of 120K helped us improving our business intelligence. Instead of asking our, our users for another fee, we're going to seek for B2B partnerships to connect our community to their needs, including financial services. But also, we will license our technology to partners who focus on other target groups, for example, debt counseling firms. When I was at university, I launched an app as a side project. It reached 10K installs without paid promotion. Real customer feedback helped us develop our product, but this was just a one minute show, so let's focus on where we are now. During the first weeks of the program, we won an innovation award of Impact City. <laughs> where the jury awarded us for having a potential global impact on society. And probably, like you already know, Bunk was the first bank that launched their, API, their open API. And within just three days and zero meetings, we've connected our app on their system. <laughs> and a really important area in our business is security. We've partnered with One Genie, one of the most successful brands in mobile security in the Netherlands. And I'm also really proud that I can announce that we're going to work with five strong partners, including the financials Egon, Knapp, and Vivat. <laughs> but also two partners that I can't announce today, but we are going to close in the coming weeks. And by building these relevant B2B partnerships around us, we're quite optimistic about the future of Pagently. We will test and develop our app with business partners, with real customers, and real-time transaction data. And we know it will take time and money to launch our business. And that's why we're raising a round in Q3 this year, just before our official launch. In a world full of financial seduction and distrust, who do you think this generation will turn to for fi financial guidance? My generation is one of the largest in history, and I bet we are going to change the way how we deal with finances. Thank you. <laughs>